Hi, my name is Adrian. And I'm Simon. And we are the authors of the Ultimate Listening Series. In this video, we'd like to demonstrate to you how to do a dictogloss. The method we'll be showing you is based on what we've found to be a very effective way of using these materials. Yeah, it took us about five years, I think, to develop the structure for this class. Yeah. And I think they're really good. Today, Adrian is going to be acting as the teacher. And he'll be reading the script in the class. That's right. But the audio is also downloadable from the uh, publisher's website, that is uh, Kaitaksha, and we'll put a link in the video later on. Shall we do it? Okay, over to you. Good stuff. Okay, so we're now going to move on to the actual Dictogloss lesson itself. I have some volunteers here today. Uh, Yuri, Kohei, and Tsugumi is on the camera. So thank you for helping out today. So we're going to start off with the predict section of the Dicta Gloss class. All right, so to start with, I'd like you to think about the topic of sunflowers. So what do you know about sunflowers? If I say to you, you know, Himawari, then what do you think of? So quickly with your partner, have a quick chat. When I say sunflowers, what do you think of? Please go ahead. I don't mind if they speak in English or in Japanese here. The main purpose of this part of the lesson is for them to really get their background knowledge of their schemata working. Okay, let's see how they go off. Alrighty, so now you've thought of some words that are related to sunflowers, I'd like you to think about those in English. So in this passage, which is 45 words, what kind of English words do you expect to hear? Mm. What do you think? Mm. Summer. Summer. Earth. Yeah. Earth, yeah. Hamster. Hamster. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm, yellow. Yellow. Okay. So these words are all connected with sunflowers, so maybe we'll hear them. Now the third question here is what do you think the sixth word will be? So you can see the first five words for many people, the sunflower. So what do you think the sixth word might be? Have a quick chat with each other. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Please begin. So again, this is just a quick discussion, more of a metalinguistic discussion, to see what they're thinking about with the grammar. Let's see what they have to say. So, what do you think? Any ideas? Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Cheers us. Yeah. Same one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the uh, next section. So we're now going to move on to the listen section. I'm going to read the passage, so I'd like you to listen carefully, and in the space there on your paper, please write as many memos of words that you could hear. Okay, write as many as you can. All right, please listen carefully, and take some memos. Here we go. Sunflowers. For many people, the sunflower is a symbol of summer. Their bright yellow colors make us feel relaxed on hot, humid summer days. At the end of summer, you can collect the seeds to plant the next year, or eat them as a healthy snack. Okay, we're now going to move on to the next section, which is the reconstruct section. So if you could turn to the next page, you'll need to look at both pages at the same time. And here, you can see a space to write the passage you just heard. So put your memos together and see if you can reconstruct the passage as closely as to what I read. I'll give you a couple minutes. Give you two minutes. Please begin. So this is the stage where they're reconstructing the passage. They're putting their memos together. And perhaps they'll be guessing some words as well based on their English knowledge.
Okay, so time is up. We have, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you another 20 seconds. So quickly, can you think of some strategies? What are you going to do this time when you are listening to catch a little more? Do you have any ideas? Mm -hmm. You can discuss together. you have now created. Here we go. Sunflowers. For many people, the sunflower is a symbol of summer. Their bright yellow colors make us feel relaxed on hot, humid summer days. At the end of summer, you can collect the seeds to plant the next year, or eat them as a healthy snack. Two minutes, try to reconstruct the passage together. Alrighty, so let's check your answers. So here's a copy of the passage. Okay. You can read through the paper and give yourself one point for each word that you got correct mm -hmm. and write your score at the bottom of the page there. Okay, so how did you go? How many points did you get? 36. 36? Okay. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, you're writing the same passage, so I hope you get the same score. So let's change 36 out of 40 into a percentage. So what is 36 out of 40 in a percentage? 90%? So if you can write 90% in there. What I'd like you to do next is please turn to your Diplygloss progress chart. Can you see that one? This one? This one, yeah. And where it says level 1-1, one, one, please color in, please color in up to 90%. That's pretty good. These guys got 90%, which is a pretty good score. If your student's going to get around 70%, that's really good. Aiming for about 70%, I think, is pretty much the best score to get. Not the best score, but a pretty good score to get. Okay, now let's do some reading practice of the passage. So do you have the passage there? I'm going to read through once more, so please watch along with your eyes and listen as I read, matching the words with the sounds. Here we go. Sunflowers. For many people, the sunflower is a symbol of summer. Their bright yellow colors make us feel relaxed on hot, humid summer days. At the end of summer, you can collect the seeds to plant the next year, or eat them as a healthy snack. Because at this time, we're going to read together. Right? Try to keep the same rhythm as me. Here we go. Uh, from for many people. Here we go. We're one, two, three. For many people, the sunflower is a symbol of summer. Their bright yellow colors make us feel relaxed on hot, humid summer days. At the end of summer, you can collect the seeds to plant the next year, or eat them as a healthy snack. So the last time I'd like to turn the paper over, don't look at the passage and listen carefully as I read one more time. Sunflowers. For many people, the sunflower is a symbol of summer. Their bright yellow colors make us feel relaxed on hot, humid summer days. At the end of summer, you can collect the seeds to plant the next year, or eat them as a healthy snack. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to look at the active learning topic. So have a look at the discussion written on your paper, and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so that's just a brief run through of how we can do the gloss in our classes. Of course, how you use the materials in the textbook is up to you. 
That's right. We try to develop the materials and design them in a way that was flexible enough so the teachers can add their own touch and flavour to match their teaching styles and, of course, the learning styles of their students. Great. We hope you enjoy using the materials in the textbook. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you.